Welcome to Political Quickie, your political show that subjectively discusses current affairs in South Africa and all around the world. My name is Map Asikamura. So, the royal wedding is coming up in a few days, on the 19th of May to be exact, on a Saturday. So yes, it is a vibe. It's a vibe. <laughs> yes. Um, so we know that Meghan Markle was a career woman, she's American, she's a divorcee, and she's biracial. Now, while I would not care for a royal wedding, to be honest, in normal circumstances, or care for a fairy tale at that, um, someone very bright, very smart, did remind me of that article Good Morning America ran last year, uh, titled, Meghan Markle's Engagement Gives Hope to Black Women. Saying that Meghan Markle's engagement gives hope to black women is ignorant and it's disrespectful. Black women do not need validation from white people, especially from white men. We do not need to be validated that we are smart, we are beautiful, we are worth it, and we are enough. The fact that the media has run the rhetoric for so long that white is beautiful and white is perfect and white is normal does not mean that black women were not looking in the mirror and seeing the truth about themselves. Meghan Markle identifies herself as biracial, not black, but biracial. And that's good and well, because biracial people should have the choice to choose which race they want to identify with. We shouldn't prescribe to them who they are, especially to us black people. Can we stop claiming the likes of Barack Obama, Trevor Noah, Alicia Keys, any person who's got a tenth of black in them? Sometimes it makes us look like we are desperate to claim people, as though there's a shortage of black excellence, but there isn't. Allow people to choose who they are, society at large. Let us not prescribe to them. So yes, that was a very, very short political quickie. I love you guys. Be awesome. Use your talents to serve humanity. And I will see you on Friday. Yes, on Friday. Bye.